Good evening, everybody. Well, just want to give you guys a quick update about Fallout New Vegas and some upcoming stuff. So, I'm going to take a little bit of a break with videos for just a week or so. It's only really going to affect Fallout New Vegas at the moment, I think, because the Tomb Raider videos are already all uploaded. They're just playing out, so, you know, they're coming out every day. The Inner World videos, I still have to edit, so they might be delayed, but... Uh, and then, you know, the Fallout New Vegas stuff is gonna be on hold for a little bit until next week, Monday, or something like that. We'll see. Now, I definitely want to go back to the game. Don't worry, I'm not cancelling it or anything. I'm just focusing on some other stuff at the moment. And while I'm doing that, I always feel like, oh, but I need to go record. I feel guilty and stuff. So I figured, oh, let's just make a video and mention that I'm going not to upload for a few weeks. Um, we just finished the Honest, uh, Honest Hearts DLC, so I figure, you know, now is probably a good time to do the pause anyway. After that, I'll go back to the main quest or maybe start Dead Money DLC. We'll see. Uh, so I'm probably going to do that. But yeah, I'm. So I've been kind of. I'm really wanting to. Um, do like a modded survival playthrough of Fallout 4. I know I've done a lot of Fallout 4 already. Well, I guess I also cancelled them a lot. Uh, but most of them were always with the Horizon mod. I love Horizon. It's a lot of fun. But last time it felt, the last season it felt a little bit too... There was too much um, micromanaging things. And too much focus on, you know, like uh, setting up infrastructures and stuff. So... That kind of took away a bit of what I wanted to do in Fallout 4. I want to experience the world of Fallout 4 and most of the vanilla stuff still. There's so many little areas I've never been to. Um, but have some some bit of flavor, you know? More weapons, more armor, and nothing that's really crazy that wouldn't really fit within Fallout, in my opinion. Like, everything is very... Like, I take it serious. I don't want, like, super silly mods or something. It's more about survival, you know? It's going to be on the survival mod too, but... With some mods that make it a little bit more uh, enjoyable, like uh, you know, save. Well, I have a quick save, but I think um, I might I might not use it as often. But you know, like uh, better damage because survival damage is obviously ridiculous. Like everyone is a bullet sponge. Better resource gathering. The way I have it set up now, for example, loot is pretty rare. You have to find. You have to scrounge for a lot of things. Um, and then, of course, like perks like Scrounge and stuff will will give you more. Uh, if you go, like, try to get purified water from, I don't know, the vault sink or something, it's just dirty water. And making dirty or turning dirty water into purified water is also more difficult, more resource intense. Uh, animals usually don't drop a lot of food. You have to make hunting kits to get it. So that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I think it fits really into and it's 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 very inspired by Horizon because I think it does so much correct the way it does things, but without the, you know, without the, like, hassle of dealing with, I don't know, settlers and stuff. In fact, I am I really want to try the Rise of the Commonwealth mod, which is, like, an add-on for some settlements where you can assign an important character, like a, like a companion or something, to this, uh, to become this leader of your city, and they will just automatically build the entire settlement up from, from the ground, and it's amazing, it's really cool, you just put this down, tell the person to do stuff, and then boom, things will happen over the course of the game, not instantly, you know, it takes time for them to level up and stuff, you can donate resources, etc., uh, et but yeah, it's just so nice, so I don't have to worry about making my own buildings and stuff, but I can still do it, right? Like, if I wanted to, I can still go to a different settlement and also just set up things the way I want. Um, and yeah, just that kind of stuff, you know? I don't I don't want to, like, swim in resources and such, but I also want to not struggle too as much as I did in, like, Horizon, for example. I, I just feel like the latest Horizon version added a few too many things that I wasn't, like, eh, too happy about. Um, and it just took a takes a long time to like learn about again and I just didn't want to deal with that. But yeah, now I have finished, you know, the main quest for once. I have I feel like I'm much more experienced in Fallout 4. I know more about what's in the main game, what's in the vanilla game, uh, what kind of quests, areas, weapons, how things should feel difficulty wise, that kind of stuff. That I now I'm like okay with starting a 
uh, survival model playthrough. And this is kind of like, this is going to be probably my personal last attempt to set up a proper nice modded setup. You know, that's why I'm like putting so much thought into this. I want this to be nice. I don't want this to be weird. It doesn't have a specific theme necessarily. Like I could just play anyone in this world if I wanted to. It doesn't restrict me in any ways. It's just some nice additional stuff with extra armor, weapons, uh, faction overhauls, and some other goodies in there. That being said though, I do kind of want to play as a Minuteman person. I've never done the Minuteman faction. I've only done the railroad for, uh, so far. And, um, you know, I just want to see how that plays out in the end. And so the, the, the idea, I guess, behind that is going to be that we are going to, you know, unite the common worlds again uh, among the Minuteman or w using the Minuteman or whatever, right? We're probably like, you know, a bit of a military guy, a bit more, you know, heavily built. Uh, we are trying to be as nice as possible to people, not really be jerks. Um... You know, not, for example, someone's like, hey, can you help me out with this? We're not going to be like, oh, but maybe if you pay me more, I'll help you. Not that kind of stuff, right? But anyway, I'll talk more about that if I start a series. And in fact, I probably already put too much into it, but like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a Let's Play of this. I'm like still debating if I should or not, or if I just play this on my own. But uh, let me know if there's interest in this, if you guys are interested in that. Um, that would help me a lot to to figure out what I want to do, but I'm 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 definitely leaning towards uh, recording it. I think just because I think there's so many cool little things in it that I really want to share with people, and hopefully people find it helpful and enjoyable as well. And man, I've been spending so much time trying to get performance good. It is so good. It's never been better before for me. Like it's constantly. 60 frames per second i haven't like of course when you go into areas sometimes it loads and things then it just dips to like 50 but just being in there is always 60. I, in fact i've kept at 70 so i can kind of like see how high it goes like 70 is the max i kept it at and it can even be uh be higher i went to the roof of Covega, which always gave me a big drop and i looked at lexington um it's fine uh being in lexington always dropped my fps totally fine being in Boston downtown in the combat zone, it's totally fine. And on top of that, I have all the, pretty much almost every setting on ultra except for shadows, uh, distance and qualities on medium. And everything, like even God Rays on ultra, like it is, it's great, it's been fun. I'm so glad it's running like <laughs> this smoothly now. It's it's great. Anyway, talking too much about it, I'll, I'll, I'll post more about it when I'm like more... Uh, ready to start it. I'm pretty close to it. I've spent three days or so, almost full entire three days, figuring stuff out. Um, I feel much more experienced with mods now too, that I have messed with Horizon stuff before too. I've played probably like 40 hours again in this mod setup. Like I just put so much time into this, probably more than I should, but um, yeah, it's fun. It's running pretty well. It's, it's stable. It's interesting to me. There's some cool fun mods, so I hope it, I hope it goes well. It's always difficult to know how you know, these mods work later on if you put like, you know, 50 hours into a playthrough into a save file, who knows, maybe some things that will corrupt it, like we did, uh, like, you know, what happened in the first uh, Walking Dread season of Horizon, which was not so great, um, and kind of started to happen again in the second one too, but kind of figured that would happen, because I used the same mods that caused the issue the first time. But yeah, so, again, quick break, you know, for a week or so, that's that's why there's a break because I want to focus on this Fallout 4 thing, um, and then maybe we'll get it started on it. I actually started recording the Nuka World DLC 2 in the vanilla, in air quotes. I'm doing air quote symbols here. Can you see it? No, there's no webcam. Um, just to go through the Nuka World DLC because that was that was like one of my goals I always wanted to do. So I've been starting to record that, but I. I might actually play through the entire DLC before I start uploading stuff or something. We'll see, we'll see. Because I don't want to, like, upload stuff and then have, like, weeks of gaps in between because I'm doing something else. But And it's also going to be weird maybe to have two Fallout 4 series running at the same time again. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, anyway, I'm talking too much. It's going to be too long. There's probably some gameplay in the background for my mod setup. Uh, whatever you see in there is, you know, might change, so... It might not be the final thing. Probably isn't the final thing. It's 4 a.m. I'm burpy. I'm going to go to bed. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. Hope to see you soon. Uh, goodbye.